what a month for car sales. U.S. buyers snapped up new cars and trucks in June at a pace not seen in the auto industry since before the recession. Car makers sold roughly 1.4 million vehicles last month, up around 6% from the previous year. Now, the broad demand came in all segments of the market, and it's another sign that the industry recovery is sustainable and could improve further in the second half of the year. The auto company says that overall sales in the U.S. grew 9.2% during June uh, to about 1.4 million vehicles. Now, compare that with about 1.28 million in the same month a year ago. That is quite a sustainable trend. Sales of new models were up across the board from families replacing their older models, sport utility vehicles, to businesses buying pickup trucks, and fuel conscious consumers were buying up hybrids. Let's get more on the story with Alec Gutierrez, a senior market analyst of Automotive Insights for Kelly Blue Book. Alec, thank you so much for joining us today. A fantastic month for car makers, the most sales since November of 2007. What do you attribute the increase to? Yeah, there were already very strong expectations for the month, and, and sales actually came in and, and beat everyone's expectations, hitting 16 million SAR, numbers we haven't seen since prior to the recession. The strength in the industry has really been driven by a rebound in demand for pickup trucks, which has been tied to the stabilization and, and subsequent rebound of, of housing, as well as strong demand for small CUVs like the Ford Escape, um, as well as Honda CRV and a few others. So can this trend continue or is it a once-off phenomenon given that consumers don't really upgrade cars that often? Uh, we expect the trend to continue. The, the first half of the year was extraordinarily strong. We saw a growth of 6 to 7% over what we saw through the first six months of 2012. Um, as we look ahead to the second half of the year, with the economy uh, showing positive signs, with consumer confidence picking up, as I mentioned earlier, housing starting to stabilize and, and improve steadily. Uh, we believe that the second half of the year will likely be better than what we saw in the first half, and we could end the year with uh, in excess of 15.5 million vehicle sales, which is starting to approach pre-recession levels. That is quite a big increase, and one of the biggest companies that saw a huge jump was Ford. Ford Motor reporting the greatest jump in sales. Revenue increased 13%, the best June in seven years. Chrysler had an increase of 8%. General Motors ticked up 6%. Why do you think American car makers did so well, outperforming Asian and European car makers? Well, each of the domestic automakers really have a stranglehold on the pickup truck market here in the U.S. The three of them account for close to 90% of all full-size pickup truck sales um, in the United States. So that alone has been enough to really push them up uh, far beyond their foreign competitors. Um, in fact, the Chevrolet Silverado, Ford's F-Series, they saw uh, close to a 30% year-over-year improvement in terms of volume in, in June. Um, but Ford especially has rebounded thanks to the introduction of a lot of very, very strong redesigns in other high-volume segments, such as the Ford Fusion, the Ford Fiesta, and Ford Focus, which have taken advantage of their excellent fuel economy. Um, so the three domestic automakers really benefiting because of uh, full-size pickup trucks, as well as a lot of redesigns, which have really set a, a new benchmark for the industry. So domestic automakers are really revving up their sales. How are Chinese automakers faring in the U.S.? Uh, well, to be honest, at this point, there really isn't much uh, of any presence in terms of Chinese automakers here in the U.S. Uh, we have seen some presence at some of the latest auto shows from a handful of manufacturers, but at the moment, um, there isn't much in the way of availability, so they haven't made any inroads yet. However, uh, within the industry, there are expectations that we'll see uh, the Chinese likely make a move sometime in the next several years, so we wouldn't be surprised to see them uh, maybe three to five years from now starting to pick up market share, but at the moment, um, there isn't really much in the way of, uh, of headway being made just yet. Now, you mentioned the pickup. Which other car models or types were popular this month? Well, besides pickup trucks, really uh, small CUVs have been very, very strong. And then these are uh, vehicles like the Ford Escape, uh, Honda CRV, Toyota's new RAV4, which is all new for the 2014 model year. Um, these vehicles have been exceedingly popular with uh, retirees, um, and especially with a lot of baby boomers starting to retire over the last couple of years, and, and certainly that's expected to grow over the next several years. That's going to be a key driver in the segment, uh, not to mention the fact that full-size and mid-size sport utilities, which were traditionally based on trucks, have generally fallen out of favor because um, they, they're generally pretty fuel-thirsty. They're not exactly the most fuel-efficient vehicles on the road, and because uh, small crossovers are based on a car, they handle like a car, drive like a car, get great fuel economy like, like more traditional cars. Those have been 
Um, also very, very popular and on par with what we've seen in terms of pickup trucks. Now you mentioned fuel thirsty vehicles and gas averaged $3.60 a gallon nationwide in June, about 10 cents more than a year ago. So did the relatively high gas prices steer some buyers to more hybrid models and perhaps an increase in demand for electric cars? Yeah, I think that with gas prices still relatively high compared to what we've seen over the last couple of years, uh, buyers have indicated and have shown um, via uh, their web traffic behavior on KBB.com as well as what they're purchasing that the fuel-efficient vehicles are still very much in favor. In fact, uh, Ford's Fiesta, which is their subcompact, the smallest vehicle they produce, gets close to 40 miles per gallon. They saw a sales improvement of almost 100% year over year. Um, the, the compact segment in general was up maybe 6 to 7%. And electric vehicles, they have started to make some headway in the U.S., although I wouldn't argue that it's necessarily tied to gas prices as much as it is uh, tied to the fact that there are just some very, very aggressive lease promos out there in the segment. Um, in fact, the, the Chevrolet Spark, which goes on sale soon, as well as the Nissan Leaf and the, the Fiat 500 electric, they're all available with a $199 per month lease with about $1,000 down, which is uh, an excellent price point for a vehicle that starts in, in the low to mid-30s. Um, so those vehicles are more moving based on um, just uh, aggressive lease support rather than uh, just fuel prices alone. Okay, and of course, auto loans were at historic low, so that probably helped sales as well, 2.7%. Thank you so much. We're going to have to leave it there. Alec Gutierrez, Senior Market Analyst of Automotive Insights for Kelly Blue Book. Thanks for joining us.